एक्टिविटी ऑन करूं मैं अपनी ओके गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी ट्रस्ट सभा फाउंडेशन की ओर से मैं कंसर्न कर रही हूं अंडर स्ट्रेस से एक बार फिर आपके समक्ष प्रस्तुत हूं टुडे वेबिनार ऑन एक्टिवेट योर पर्सनल लीडरशिप टेंपल वी हैव विद अस आवर गेस्ट स्पीकर पूजा तेलसर नारीना पर्सनल लीडरशिप कोच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डेवलपमेंट कंसल्टेंट एंड एंटरप्रेन्योर मैम आई वेलकम यू ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ अभा फाउंडेशन एंड ऑल द पार्टिसिपेंट्स हियर पार्टिसिपेंट आप सबका भी मैं स्वागत करता हूं और आप सबसे रिक्वेस्ट करता हूं सबसे पहले आप हमारी YouTube चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कर लें वीडियो को लाइक कर लें बेल आइकन को जरूर प्रेस करें ताकि हमारे अपकमिंग इवेंट्स है वो आप तक के टाइम टाइम पहुंचते रहे सेशन के बीच में आपकी कोई कमेंट्स कोई क्वेश्चन रहे तो प्लीज कमेंट बॉक्स में कमेंट्स करते रहिए हम सेशन के लास्ट में उसको जरूर देंगे और उसका आपको आंसर भी हम बताए आपसे हमेशा की तरह आज भी हम एक इस सेशन का सर्टिफिकेट करेंगे उसके लिए सेशन के लास्ट में कोड भी आपको शेयर करेंगे तो प्लीज मेक श्योर कि आप हमारी वेबसाइट पे जाके कोड को गूगल फॉर्म को अटेंडेंस फॉर्म होती है उसमें जरूर फिल करें ताकि हम आपको टाइमली या फिर स्टडी में सर्टिफिकेट शेयर कर पाए ना हमारी रिक्वेस्ट और गेस्ट भी करें प्लीज इस वेलकम यू मैम थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच नमस्ते एवरी वन प्रणाम टू दी एल्डर्स इट्स सच एन ऑनर टू बी हियर थैंक यू जे जी एन अबल फाउंडेशन फॉर इन्वाइटिंग मी आई एम सो लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड टू शेयर अबाउट बींग द सी ओ ऑफ योर लाइफ तो हम वेन वी आर गोइंग टू डू अबाउट बी द सी ओ ऑफ योर लाइफ आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर विथ यू फ्यू स्टोरीज few enough dots and please do comment in the chat uh, so that ajiji would help me understand uh, that you know um, if there are any specific questions so i have prepared a slides for you i'm going to run you through the slides and uh, would be happy to hear your comments on the same so i'll just start my uh, slide share here being the ceo of your life even before you are a ceo of any organization we all have a precious organization with us what is that precious organization it is our life we need to be the ceo of our life we need to take charge of our life so today by the end of the session what we would understand we would understand how can we take charge of our life and be it in personal space or be it in professional space so let's get going what is personal leadership is there any definition of personal leadership because while i'm talking about being the ceo of your life but aakhir ye personal leadership hoti kya hai and why is it important so we are going to try and understand that but before i get on that after all where does it start hum hamesha utsuk hote hain to know ki aakhir is cheez ki shuruaat kahan se ho rahi hai so let's try to understand that and i'm going to help you to understand through a story so there was this monk and a businessman so this businessman had a problem that there was some problem with his eyes and he couldn't see it properly he went through all all um, the doctors but somehow it just didn't help someone told him why don't you visit this monk he said okay fine let me try and visit this monk i have already tried so many things now let me go and visit there so he went to this monk the monk said my dear boy there is a one simple solution from today onwards whatever you are going to see you are going to see green in color the business man was like green in color Why is this monk asking me to see that? I thought that this monk is a learned professional, a, a learned person. Why is he asking me? But being the businessman, and he had heard good things about this monk, he said, "Let me try." So he ordered his stuff. Like today onwards, whatever I'm going to see, it's going to be green in color. The staff said, "Yes, boss, we'll follow your advice." 
Ivanka was like, let me go and visit. How is this businessman doing now? So he went and what happened? His helpers came and poured the green color bucket, a bucket of green color. The monk being monk, he was relaxed and he said, my dear son, why did you pour this? He said, because our sir has been advised that he has to see green in color and you were not wearing a green. So we had to make you green in color. The businessman came, said, I'm sorry, but it's as per your advice. The monk said, my dear boy, rather than changing everything around you, you should have just got a green color glass. Fair. So that's what is personal leadership. Rather than changing everything around us, we need to take ownership and we need to change ourselves. We need to see in ourselves what we need to change. Now, is everyone a leader? Because I often get to hear in my corporate coaching career that Pusha, if everyone would become a leader, then who would be the follower? Now, let me ask you a question here. Just imagine you are going in a mall and you have various shops. Do you think all those shopkeepers are only the seller? Only the seller and none of them is the buyer at some point of time even the seller becomes a buyer similarly we all need to be a leader leadership is not defined by the position it's not defined by the title leadership is an expression of our life we all need to be a leader not can a five-year-old demonstrate a leadership can a 60-year-old demonstrate a leadership? Yes, we all can demonstrate a leadership by taking charge of our life, by getting on that uh, ownership drive. Let's take an example that you are in a car, okay? You have the car keys. Or rather, let's think this way, that you're in a car, you're sitting on a driving seat, all geared up, but you don't have car keys, car keys someone else has. So what is important? If you want to be on a driving seat, you need to have a control of the steering wheel as well as you need to have the car key. So similarly in life, we need to have control. We need to take ownership. We need to be in charge. And that's what is leadership. That's what we can even teach the children to the educators. Educators, when you are educating, your students, that's what you can teach them. That's what you can encourage them. Because if you don't start taking ownership right from an early age, it's going to be difficult later on. And that's why, uh, you know, in leadership, we see in the top portion, sometimes we see that there is a failure or there is a vacuum because people have not taken personal onus. Because even if before you become a leader in the titular position or the uh, designation, each day you need to demonstrate that expression in whatever work you are doing, be it a personal space or be it a professional space. Similarly, you need to every day show up and take that action. Why is leadership important? Why do I need to be a leader? I'm good being a follower. Or, you know, leadership is a lot of stress. So why do I need to be a leader? I'm sure many of you would be thinking at this point in time that I'm an educator. Do I need to be a leader? Or I'm just a student. Do I need to be a leader? Let me help you with another story. It is said that stories drive deeper meaning. Now, this is a very interesting story. This is a story of a mouse and a farmer's wife and a mouse trap. So this mouse, very notorious mouse, and the farmer's wife was so irritated with this mouse. So she got a mouse trap and she was like, I'm going to get hold of this mouse. I'm just tired of it. The mouse saw the mouse trap and was very worried. He went onto the farm to ask help of his friend. He went to the hen. He said, can you help me? 
There is a mouse trap there. I'm very scared. The hen said, why should I help you? The mouse trap is nowhere going to harm me. Look at my size. We went to the goat. The goat said, if it's not going to harm hen, look at my size. How it's going to harm me? Please don't disturb. Go. What is in it for me? Why should I help you? Finally, he went to the cow. Cow said, this time nothing. Just kicked him off. The mouse was very worried. That night, the snake came in and got stuck in the mouse trap. The farmer wife was very happy. Finally, I have that mouse inside it. She, out of an excitement, went to look at it. And the snake fed the uh, farmer's wife. She had fallen sick and because of which a lot of medicines were required and farmer had to literally sell each of this hen, cow, goat. The farmer's wife passed away. The farmer was so depressed, he left the town. The only person or the only character in this who was alive and who stayed was the mouse. If I were to ask you whose fault was it, Usually I hear people saying farmer's wife or I hear people saying it was hen fault or the other people who didn't save. I feel if we think closely, it was the fault of a mouse. You must be thinking why? Asking for help is not bad, but had he actually looked at the resources which were available? Was he assertive enough in his communication? Could he get the team along? Now just imagine the mouse didn't show the leadership. Leadership is not only leading, but it is getting together. It is communicating to connect. It is helping people buy into your vision that why is it important, why you need to do it, and how is it going to help you? And all that requires the clarity of mind. All that requires taking ownership. You know, if you see the mouse, failed to take the ownership. He didn't think of any other option. He just felt, he just panicked and he said like, life is going to end here. He didn't exercise what was in his control. Very often, my dear friends and educators, we hamare control mein kya hai. And hamari drishti kaun pura change ho jata hai. So we need to see that what is in our control. We need to exercise the power of our control. Now, what do I mean our control? Just imagine when someone is saying you something or when in the environment something is happening, it is not in your control, but how are you going to respond to it? It's in your control. So are you going to be someone who is going to be a warrior or are you going to be a warrior? The warrior, the military people, they don't, you know, go back like, okay, the ammunitions are not good. You're not going to fight for us. No, they don't do that, right? They do take ownership. They do show up. So in life, when you're faced with ups and downs, what are you going to do? Are you going to show up each day or are you going to be like, I can't do anything? So that's being the CEO of your life. When you show up, and it all starts with activating your personal leadership compass. What is a distinguishing factor? If I were to ask you about people who are successful and people who are not so successful, what is a distinguishing factor? Think about it. We all see the life of the people, uh, you know, when they have reached a pinnacle. But a success ke piche, kamyabi ke piche, bhad gheri story hoti hai, isn't it? So if you think carefully, what is a distinguishing factor? What is something which demarcates good to greatness? Think about it. What it is? Second question, which I want to pose to all of you is, I've spoken all this while about leadership, but how can we strengthen it? So two questions we are going to look at. What is a factor 
which is a distinguishing factor and how can we strengthen it? I'm going to again answer it through a story because I feel stories are very powerful and they stay with us. So there was this crow and he was like one day very scared and he was just flying very hurriedly. The wise owl was, the crow, uh, the wise owl saw him and the crow had a meat in his beak. The owl said, my dear friend, the sky is so beautiful. The weather is so good. Why are you so in haste? And why are you having a flight of fear? He said, can't you see there are so many eagles behind me, behind my life, and you are asking me to be relaxed? The owl said, think for a while. Is it you or is it the meat in your beak? Do one thing. Just drop the meat and see the magic. So the owl is wise. Let me follow him. Drop the meat. And he saw all the eagles honked over the meat. Sometimes in the life, we carry on the things which are not working for us. Be it a belief system. Be it the thoughts. Uh, be it action or be it the habits. Our belief system, what we think about ourselves is so, so important. No one is going to believe in you unless you're going to believe. If you think you can do it, you will do it. And if you think you can't do it, you won't be able to do it. So I would invite you to think, what is something which you are carrying on, which you need to leave, which you need to say today, Tata, goodbye to? Because only when we do that, that's the time we evolve. And that's the distinguishing factor. Another story, a very interesting story, is about a production manager and a watchman, a quality insurance guy, a factory manager. Factory manager was very happy that, wow, we have a new car, it's going to be out. And they all were so excited. The day of the car, when it was to be out, they tried to kick it out and they just found that the miscalculation had happened. So there were two ways that either you break the wall and get it out, um, or you know, there's a scratch and later you paint it. So the, the factory manager was like, uh, the owner rather was like, I don't want it to be this way. What do I do about it? I don't want to launch it. And there was a watchman. He said, can I suggest something, sir? They said, what is he going to suggest when the genius have failed? But yeah, please go ahead. He said, why don't you just deflate the tires and it would do the wonder, I think. They heard him. and They said, okay, let's deflate. So what is the lesson I'm trying to tell you here is don't think that am I in a position enough to voice out my opinion? Don't doubt yourself. Don't box creativity in a particular designation. If you feel, do wise out. And as a leader or as a manager, don't shut the opinion, the perspectives of other people. That is what the distinguishes the good leader. They are creative. They don't shut down the suggestions of other people. They continuously keep on evolving themselves. They are always with a mindset of student. A lifelong student is what is their mindset. So we just saw through the various stories that first it starts with you. Leadership is all about you. There is one corner in the life which is often, often, you know, rated very low, which is the self corner, the corner wherein we need to improve on. Because this corner is clouded so much by negative thoughts, by self-sabotage belief systems. We get into continuous compare, complain, criticize, contrasting, that we lose our unique self. We need to voice out, we need to speak, we need to be creative, and this all starts in when you are going to take ownership, when you are going to believe in yourself, my dear friends. Another story. Any person who has been on diet any day can believe 
one of the most important thing in the diet is discipline, is the consistency. If you are in a good habit today and you start doing it, you say like, okay, fine. From today onwards, I'm going to let my belief system be empowering and not shrinking. But if you don't follow through it regularly, it will not yield result. The journey to excellence, my dear friends, educators, learners out there, is consistency. Is the experience. When you have an experience and how you fail forward is going to define, is going to shape up your excellence journey. There was a very interesting experiment which was been done. So there was this shark and there was a fish. And they created a, you know, a fiber, a fiber class. But before they did that, the fish were always scared like the shark is going to eat. So the moment they created that fiber class, the shark would come and shark would bang. But shark would, was never able to eat fish. After some time, they removed that fiber class. Even after they removed the fiber class, in the shark's mind, it was always that that fiber class existed. There's another thing. You know, they say they tie the baby elephant with the rope uh, or with the chain is rather, you know, initially when they get the baby elephant, they tie it with the chain is because after some time, the baby elephant, uh, when it grows up, it thinks like I can never break those chains. So I want you to think, is there something that you have changed yourself in? Is that fiber glass, which is probably not there, which was just there for that particular moment, are you stuck? Or are you moving? Leadership is all about moving from being unstuck, from being, sorry, from being stuck to getting unstuck. It's so, so important that we need to fail forward. We need to keep moving. We do not get stuck. We do not get ourselves trapped. We need to remove that fiberglass or that rope which is tying us. It is never the lack of resources. It is rather, are you being resourceful? So qualities like that, what I just mentioned, that those qualities actually separate, are actually the USP of the great leaders. They don't stop. When they're tired, they do take rest, but they keep on failing forward. They always feel failure is the first attempt in learning. They define their fears to the more being focused. They transit from fear to focus. So we have spoken all this while being the CEO of your life. But what is being the CEO of your life? Let me help you hear what it means. Power. Now you must be thinking what is power? Obviously with respect to the position, my dear friends, I'm talking here about a different power. The being present in the moment. Are you present in the moment? O, taking ownership. So why I say being present in the moment? You know, it is often said that our thoughts it's like a monkey. So we need to be present in the moment. Are you being present here but thinking what's going to happen tomorrow? What happened in the past? Then you will not be able to bring your best self forward. So you need to be present in the moment. Now, how can one be present in the moment? As obviously there are various techniques. One of them is the famous technique of 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So meditation is the next stage. But when I say 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, it is getting your senses to the awareness. So you need to start with concentrating on any five things in your living room or wherever. Examine them. Then the four things which you can actually, uh, actually you can see carefully. So first take the five things, four things which you can see carefully, try to examine them, you know, visual, get your visual. Um, then the sound which you can hear, two things, sound which you can hear, then uh, smell, and then the taste. 
So that's how. Get your center to the five things in your bedroom or anywhere in your place, living room, wherever you are sitting. Then concentrate on the visual thing. Then concentrate on the uh, on the sound. Uh, concentrate on the taste. Um, this is how you can activate your visual uh, through the visual. You can activate your awareness. You can be in the present moment. Ownership. We have already spoken about it. That you need to focus on circle of control. What is in your control rather than a circle of concern? So, you know, when I was in human resources, very interesting question we would ask somebody to, uh, you know, whenever we would hire in factory manager or in the factory portion rather, would be like, if you would have had an option, if you had an option, you would be better than your dad, better than your dad, or you would try to be your better self. So many times people fall onto the past, but actually the definition of ownership is each day being better self, version of self and taking that onus. Whole, as I've said, that don't compare, complain, criticize. Your life is your story. Your story is unique. You are a unique gift. You have been gifted with so many superpowers. You need to just realize it and leverage it. Keep evolving. There are going to be hurdles. Life is not going to be easy. If you are on a journey, you decided it. Before you hang up your boots, you need to think, have I given my best? Have I learned from the things which have not worked? Our reflection. Keep on reflecting and being resilient. Rather, you should think that, you know, there are so many rewords, revise, reset. So what reword are you using right now in your life? Are you reconstructing? Are you revising? Re, uh, are you redefining? It is so important. There is always, uh, there is always a version of progression. Rather than perfection, aim at progression. Iceberg of life. This concept, I'm sure you would have heard, but actually if you see, Knowledge, it appears on the top of the iceberg, then it comes kill, but what is not visible is the mindset. Mindset is so important. It is just like that compass, which is guiding you continuously. There was another interesting experiment which was done, which wherein they put 100 black ants and 100 uh, few red ants rather. And both of them were staying together. Only the time when they started shaking it, there was the whole turmoil which happened because the black ants felt that the red ants would eat them. So within us, there's always a yin and a yang energy. There's always a good, our strengths and the areas of development. It would depend that which one are you focusing on? Whatever you focus on, whatever you, uh, you know, you focus on, you start nurturing it. And that's what is going to show up. If you're going to plant tomatoes, you can't expect oranges, right? So you need to be very careful. What are you planting? What are you nurturing? So you need to be careful that are you surrounded with a toxic energy around you? What kind of uh, energy are you surrounded with? How are you activating your senses? It is everything related to our senses because they, we are continuously engaging it. And that is what which forms our mindset. And that alignment comes in our actions, in our thoughts, in our decisions, in our belief systems. So that's why it's very important, my dear friends, that we are conscious of this mindset, which is often, often so underestimated. I spoke about power. I want to now speak about trick. What is a power trick? I'll just repeat. What is power? Power is P being present. O is taking ownership. W is getting your whole self. E is evolving. R is reflecting and resilient, moving forward, resetting. Now, what do I mean by trick? 
And how is it important in the leadership? If you have got this two component, you can activate your compass. You can be the CEO of your life. First is the power component. The second one is trust. You need to trust in yourself. Very important. You need to trust in yourself. Very often, you know, the person with whom we find very hard to trust is ourselves. Or if at all, we end up trusting ourselves, it is more about controlling the information or we are scared, we are insecure. Um, so be careful that what kind of trust are you nurturing? Is it a trust which is empowering you or is it shrinking you? Respect. We need to respect ourselves as well as we need to respect people around us. So important in a leadership when you are being on a CEO of your life journey. I, as I always said, and even in the first story we saw, it all starts with you taking initiative. See, collaboration. Collaboration is the key word. You need to collaborate. If you don't know anything, it's okay rather than just sitting behind and letting the opportunity pass by. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to collaborate. That's why the concept of reverse mentoring in the organization is becoming so, so important. Okay, kindness. You exhibit, you know, the person to whom we don't show kindness is we, ourselves. You need to be kind. If there is something you really worked hard and it didn't happen, don't beat up yourself. Learn, reflect. Feel forward. So this is power trick, my dear friends, which I feel it's very powerful and it has helped me to be the CEO of my life. As I always say, leadership is more of internal game. It is more of strengthening your internal core. And actually, this belief got me so aligned to my mentor. John Mitton, who happens to be coach of Steve Jobs. I'm so honored to be mentored by him. And actually, if I look at my life trajectory, I came in from a family wherein I'm a first English speaking profession. I was the youngest one in the leadership role. I lost my dad at an early age. My mom is a cancer conqueror. My entire life trajectory has been wherein I worked on myself. I didn't let the outer noise of people become my inner voice. Always remember, every, every level of your life will demand a better version of yourself. When there was an exit, there was an entry as well. We always say the grass is greener on the other side. Rather, the grass is greener on the side where you are going to water it continuously. If you look at the sun, in fact, on 10th, uh, you are the solar eclipse. So if you look at the sun, there is a beautiful ring around it, a stellar crown. It is called as a corona, okay? Just changing the energy, it is called as a corona. But it's not seen always. It is only seen during the eclipse when there is a complete darkness. So does it mean the sun never had that stellar light, that beautiful light around it? It did have but it is just visible during that eclipse when the sun goes in the sun. Similarly in life, when you have a problem, you do have a wisdom within you. You do have that shine and that reflection, uh, that stellar within you. Are you going to let it shine or are you going to think you don't have it? The moon goes through the phases. The sun, every day it, it sets and dries again. The nature is so powerful, it really helps us. So you need to redefine, you need to think that leadership, you need to understand and think and follow this, that leadership is more of internal game. It is more of internal to external. I've spoken so much about leadership. I've given you a formula of power trick. But now what are these sabotages? What is something which kills this leadership? Is the thought that I can't lead. I don't have title. I don't have that skill. I'm afraid of consequences. If I'm leader, do I really need to be a leader? Leader versus follower mindset, introvert. 
I don't have that ability to influence. I'm not a natural leader, or maybe there may be many more here. If you see a common theme in all those things, it is coming from you. So you need to be careful about what you are nurturing. Whatever you're going to grow, nurture, that's what's going to grow. So then what is the journey to leadership? The three Ds. You need to discover yourself. As I told you, the person with whom we spend the least time is ourselves. We need to discover ourselves. We need to get on that self-awareness journey. It is just like a GPS system. We need to be aware about our starting point and the point we need to reach in. And then you can take in direction. Just imagine if in the GPS you put your destination, but if it's not aware about your starting point, it will not be able to help you. Similarly, in life, it is important that we are first aware about ourselves, our belief system, our thoughts, our patterns, our habits, and the list can keep on being added here. Develop and discern. Once you're aware about yourself, you know, there's a very interesting thing about Albert Einstein, which goes this way, that don't uh, judge the capability of a fish that it can't climb the tree because it was never meant to climb the tree or the bird it can't swim because it was never meant to swim. So it is very important that you understand your element because sometimes we want to be everything which is out there in the market and we feel, yes, that's what I want to be and that's what sometimes we encourage. So we need to think and understand and leverage our true self. You have got uh, your self-awareness. You have, you know, developed yourself. You have strengthened yourself. But if you're not going to spot for the opportunities, if you're not going to demonstrate that, is it going to really help? It's not going to help. So it is. Demonstration is important. It is just like that, you know. I have prepared for the rain. I have a rain. I have whatever is needed, but it's raining and I'm not taking my equipment and I'm not taking my gears out. So you need to demonstrate, you need to discern just like, you know, you have clothes for each season. If you go to a snow place, you will definitely not wear your beach clothes. So you need to be aware about it. So my dear friends, these are three Ds you need to follow in life. If you want to be the CEO of your life, you need to discover, develop yourself and demonstrate at the right time. This is one of my favorite, favorite picture. It depicts so beautifully that every plant has their own requirement in order to grow, and so do people. And when we understand this, that's the time the magic happens. That's the time the magic unfolds, isn't it? So we need to understand this and not compare and complain and criticize. A person who opens a business at the age of 45 or 25, he would still be called as a businessman. A graduate would still call as a graduate irrespective of what age he passed down. So are you defining your timelines based on someone else or are you defining your own timelines? That's what is going to make a difference. So, being the CEO of your life is being the best, best version of your life, which you can, you will, and you must be. Can is your ability. You already have that ability in you. Will is based on our choice and must is irrespective of whatever happens. Do you show up to be the best version of your life? Is your focus of improving yourself on that excellence journey of what you were yesterday and what you are today. So that's what I want to conclude with, that CEO plus CIO is actually needed to activate our compass of your life. So if you need to activate your compass of your life, if you want to be the CEO of your life, you even need to be CIO of your life and even need to be chief inspiration of your life. No one is going to believe in you if you're not going to believe in you. No one is going to always cheer up for you. So are you being your own 
cheerleader or are you just being a criticizer so dear friends ceo of your life is when you own the key and you're ready to be on the steering wheel ceo of your life is being the best and the best version of your life which you can be will be must be ceo of your life is when you take ownership ceo of your life is when you fail forward ceo of your life is when you don't bottle up but you let your creativity loose ceo of your life is when you stand up for yourself ceo of your life is when you are actually on the journey of just being the best version so at last you need to think that what are you going to choose and how are you going to nurture yourself thank you so much i really really enjoyed being here speaking to you on this platform and i'm happy to take any questions you have thank you thank you so much okay any question or to question it please comment box me comment kare comment sab mein le i'm i'm unable to hear you very clearly um sachi ji okay yeah i can hear you now participant aapko aapke paas koi question hai to please comment box me comment kare taki main uska answer de paaye बहुत सारे थैंक यूज मिल रहे हैं मैम बहुत सारे अप्रिसिएशन हैं और बहुत सारे लोग को अब तक पूरी सेशन समझ में आ गई इसीलिए क्वेश्चन नहीं पूछ रहे हैं मुझे लगता है <laughs> फिर भी हम वेट no करेंगे बिल्कुल क्वेश्चन प्लीज कमेंट्स आपने बताया की लीडरशिप स्किल जो है वो बनाई जा सकती है और वो जो है कोई भी लीडर बन सकता है ये स्किल जो है वो सब आप सबके बीच बहुत अच्छे से दो तीन आने के थ्रू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट करते होते हैं एक क्वेश्चन घनश्याम दस जन चीज है ना हाउ टू फॉलो यू गिफ्ट ऑफ नॉलेज हाउ टू फॉलो योर गिफ्ट ऑफ नॉलेज इज इट द क्वेश्चन ऑल राइट यस थैंक यू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन नाउ हाउ डू यू फॉलो योर गिफ्ट ऑफ नॉलेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू बी अवेयर अबाउट व्हाट आर योर गिफ्ट्स ओके सेल्फ अवेयरनेस once you have your self awareness then you need to uh, look out for the opportunities because most of the time we lose out is because we think that what the other person is going to think do i really have that capability so you need to believe in yourself and start slowly and steadily never uh, you know as you start slowly and steadily you will continuously get feed forward you know whatever inputs you are getting use it as a feed forward and keep refining yourself um for example if you have a gift of connecting with people but you think like you know if i'm going to go and speak out there i don't know what people are going to think am i uh, really a good speaker i'm not a trained speaker so then it's not going to even help you so look out for an opportunity when you get an opportunity grab it and if there's any feed forward use that feed forward to be the best version of yourself so self discovery feed forward reflection and integrating this are the four steps thank you ma'am thank you so much jaisa ki maine bataya ki hamare audience bahut kuch sikhe aur isko zarur follow karne ka prayas karenge aap hamare awaaz foundation ki taraf se hum aapko bahut bahut thank you bolte hain aur hamare sare audience ki taraf se aap sab se bhi aapko bahut bahut dhanyawad thank you thank you so much dhanyawad पार्टिसिपेंट्स आज की कोर्ट है
अटेंडेंस फॉर्म की लिंक ऑलरेडी हमारी वेबसाइट के अपकमिंग इवेंट्स वाली पेज में है जहाँ पे आप देख पाएंगे मैम की एक पोस्टर है उसी पोस्टर को आपको डबल टैप करना है डबल टैप करते ही आपको फॉर्म ओपन हो जाएगी तो प्लीज मेक श्योर की आप सभी जो है फीडबैक फॉर्म जरूर फिल करें ताकि हम आपको आपकी रजिस्टर्ड ई मेल में सर्टिफिकेट प्रोवाइड कर पाए थैंक यू मोहम्मद सपिल जी कल की वेबिनार भी है स्टाइलिंग एंड एसेसरी तो दुनिया सलाह में हमारे साथ कनेक्ट होंगे पुनी से तो प्लीज आप कल की वेबिनार में भी कनेक्ट रहें हम कल फिर मिलेंगे इसी समय तब तक के लिए आप सबका मैं धन्यवाद करता हूँ मैंने टेक्स्ट किया है देखिए कमेंट्स बॉक्स में है ना मेरी आवाज साफ नहीं आ रही है सही है बट कमेंट्स बॉक्स में कमेंट देखिए उसमें कोड इज ट्वेंटी सेवन ऑलरेडी टाइप किया हुआ है ठीक है अब हम कल फिर मिलेंगे इसी समय